to Crazy Towns 10, and it's the last I'm Jonas. TNT Dynamite, the explosive one. Let's start the timer. Boom. TNT. So, are you familiar with who Cristiano Ronaldo is? Uh, isn't he a f- football player? Yeah, yeah. Uh, football. Yeah that's, what, yeah, that's what I was talking about, uh, too. Yeah, he's a soccer guy. Super super famous, super popular. Um, so, I guess they have somewhere, I don't know where the statue is. They have a, a giant statue of him. It's probably, from the look, maybe like 10 foot tall, like life, like larger than life size. It's like uh, made out of brass or something. Why? But Because he plays sports well? Cause, yeah, because they, they love him, dude. But he's anyways... Nuts. There is what's happening is the crotch of the statue mm-hmm. is is like people have taken so many pictures grabbing his crotch, standing in front of it, bent over, things like that, that the the crotchal area of this brass statue is a different color than the rest of the statue. So oh. because they've rubbed off the, the tarnish or they whatever. You I know? was seriously thinking that it had been worn down from people like like twerking on it. Or but something. essentially that's what it is. They've yeah. taken off the yeah. you know and like in the article I found there's like a picture of a lady bent over with like her cleavage showing in front of it and another one a lady smiling, grabbing like the junk. Ew. And I'm like Okay. What? <laughs> what? So, and you know, people like people do that, and they probably post it on people do and people that? probably post it on their Facebook, and they're like, ha ha ha, whatever. Okay. If it was a, a statue of a famous woman, and guys were out here like putting their hands on her boobs, wow. What would the, what would the verdict be about that? Okay, I like it. Curious. Let's, let's get red pill. I mean, I'm sure. Get out of here. <laughs> no, I'm just saying. No, I'm just saying. Go. There's that, but like. Double standard. Why does yeah. everybody want to put their hands on the crotch of Cristiano Ronaldo <laughs> so much that they've wore his crotch down? I don't know, because penises are funny, dude. No matter where you're from, man, everybody can laugh at a big honking cock. It's the funniest. <laughs> It is, dude. I don't care. It's like no, no matter what country, dude. Everybody thinks penises are fun. Now, look, I'll grant it is that Americans are just known for it. Apparently, now this this is what I hear from other people, especially like African people. American men are the most penis pilled. (laughs) <laughs> penis penis obsessed. obsessed, yeah, uh, culture on, on well, the planet. Uh, it's but everybody finds them hilarious. Yeah, yeah, but it's interesting. I feel that goes all the way down to like children because, like, I have a friend sorry, who, who, who works with kids. Yeah, fix this. And we used to work it. with kids, and she would be like, "Why are little boys and little girls drawing penises on their notebook?" And, uh, like, and just, it's like there's a fascination of penises from like yeah, forever. Yeah, yeah like yeah. you know, even like uh, you know, people will be like. Um, yeah, my, my kid, ha, 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 he noticed his penis for the first time. Like, what is this, mom? You know, like, it's yeah, like, I don't know what it is about can't. even, like, everyone. Everyone from men, women, children, everyone's like, oh, penises, ha, ha, ha. Like, and I don't know why it is. Know. It is funny because it's like, uh, I feel like in, in at least Western culture, like, penises are not looked at as the same as vaginas because, like, if you were drawing pictures of vaginas on walls, I, don't, I feel like it may be accepted a little bit different. Nobody's going to go around like, oh, my daughter found her vagina today. Like, you know, it's just not a story you go around and tell people at the at the dinner table. But talking about a penis, they're funny. Why? I don't know. I don't know. Why is the – and it's like it's men, it's women, it's, it's young, it's kids. It's like – I mean, kids obviously for a different reason are just like, what is this thing? But even like adults, like straight men, gay men, yeah. like it doesn't matter what it is. Everyone's just like, ha ha, penis. I, th- I think it has something to do with the fact that little girls are brought up and they're raised to treat their vaginas with more reverence than we are our penises. Oh, like it's a general thing. It's like protect yes. your vagina. Yes. Because from you, all the penises. <laughs> essentially. essentially, yeah. Yeah. And like, you know, penises are funny because... You want to you want to laugh at something when it when it makes you uncomfortable, you know? That's true. That's you true. Wanna, you want you like if you know some people laugh when they're in uncomfortable situations, uh you know, you want to you want to make a joke with the scary looking guy on the bus so that you know you kind of ease off the tension a little bit. So you just walk up and go, "Ha ha, nice dick." <laughs> and then he laughs and then you both have a nice time share tea. <laughs> yeah, and then you have to shower with him later. And- yeah. All right, yeah, you know, but yeah, I, honestly, I, I do think it has something to do with the fact that we do not want, we need young women to take their vagina seriously because there was a time where they didn't have a choice to take their vagina seriously, I mean, yeah, and it was right. the man's choice to take their vagina seriously, and you know, yeah, you're not wrong. A lot I mean, of, that's probably, and that honestly is probably it. But yeah, but yeah, girls still think penises are funny too. Yeah, because they are funny. 
<laughs> just like flops of skin just yeah. flopping around, dude. Yeah, they're hilarious. And like I said, something that intimidates you, makes you nervous. You, you want to laugh at it. So I think that's where they get theirs from. Um, yeah. Yeah. I mean. Yeah. Because it's like you could tell you could tell a vagina joke and I'm just going to be like, ew, that's crass. But if you tell a nice pecker joke, dude. You hit me with a, practi- a pecker practical joke. I'm I'm in. I'm in. <laughs> a practical joke on your pecker. I'm in. Somebody's like, ha ha! Put your put your pecker in the soup. Austin Kutcher jumps out. Yeah, he's like, you been ex punked. I called him Austin. I don't care. Yeah, he uh, did you see, actually speaking of him, did you see he almost died? No. He had something go on, some rare weird thing. He, he couldn't hear or see for a while. Like he almost hmm. died. He had some sort of random disease. I can't. I don't remember what it was, but I was like, "Oh wow, that's wild." I'm sure his money got him out of it. I mean, <laughs> right? Didn't it? I mean, he, maybe he got ear and eye transplants. <laughs> yeah. First person ever. I'd, I'd sell him mine for a nominal. Sell fee. him yours. Yeah. Okay. All right. I'll, I'll humor you. How much did it cost for one of your eyes? For one? Yeah. Somebody wants an eye. No, look. I got to give you some some insight here before we get into it. <laughs> All right. So for one thing. If I lose an eye, it's, it's, there's a lot of negatives, but there's also the benefit of I'm going to look cool as hell with an eye patch. All right. Subjective, but yes. So not, while those don't necessarily outweigh the negatives that comes from losing an eye, I have to consider that a positive. Okay. You know? So I'm, make, I'm writing my pro and con list now. Okay. So pros, sweet with an eye patch. Con, can't see as well. Yeah, yeah, your uh, you know? was that your peripherals are yeah. little little uh, lopsided. Yeah, con uh, depth of depth of vision. That yeah, you def- some of that. Con definitely gonna put some strain on the the remaining eye. Yeah. Um. Compass. Pro. Yeah. You become a unicorn because everybody wants to everybody wants to fuck a cyclops. Do they? Yeah, I'm telling you, ask Gene Gray. Another second Gene Gray reference in two days. Let's go. Yeah. Everybody wants to ask See if Homer. See you one every, every day this week. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> ask Homer. Why? Uh, he, oh, Ooh, I got you. That was a deep cut. Ooh, right? Ooh, I he, didn't, he didn't write a book about it. Immediately, a- I was like, March has two eyes. Then I went... <laughs> Oh, I get it. But he, I, uh, he didn't write a book about uh, a two-eyed giant, right? Because he found the one-eyed giant. Exactly. But why was the one-eyed giant more interesting? Boom. I think either way it would have been interesting if he found a giant. So, so Khan, I'm going to have to take some time off work. Don't want to miss out on that money while I'm recovering from But you're my... getting money from your eyes, so yeah. you, would make up all, you wouldn't have to work. Yes. Well, I, we haven't discussed how much it's going to cost. I'm just I gonna... would hope that, <laughs> it's going uh, I hope that eye money is life-changing money. <laughs> You're like, eh, seventy five dollars. I guess take a week off. Look, I'm gonna tell you right now, for an eye out there, IRL like competitive pricing, I think you could probably get an eye for like, I don't know, fifty k. Really? I think you can get an eye for fifty k. Is this a 2020 vision eye? I would. Yes, this is a post inflation. Right now, you can get an eye for fifty k. This I, is like, but like good vision. You don't need glasses for getting this eye. Yeah. Or you're going to have to get the eye, then get contacts, too. I mean, I don't know how an eye transplant works, my man. So whatever this is all, I mean, this whatever is, science is we'll behind that is what it is. We'll say it works perfectly, and the vision, and the vision stays uh, sh- the same. Sure, but I'm just saying IRL, I think an eye for 50K is, is probably 50K. about the... I feel like that's about it. I don't see it being too much more than that. Because they usually scoop them out of a dead person, so they're just like they're just laying on the table anyway. Okay, okay, you have somebody living has to give up their eye. Yeah, how much you. are they? I how much you. are they giving? Like, I understand the scenario we're going through here. How much would they have to give me for my living ass eye? Hmm. I'm yeah. gonna need. I don't know, man. Like five hundred k. I feel like that. I, I feel like that is. I need. I need life changing. Don't have to work any more money. For yeah, that. but I still see. I see a person offering me a living human for my eye. No more than two hundred k. No more than two hundred. Well, he, and it, well, here's the thing. There's. It's such a commodity, right? Everybody's got to. <laughs> Everybody's it, got it, to. it all comes down to how depraved and how <laughs> hungry are you for the money. So, like. Someone That's who is dead 50K. ass broke, homeless on the street, and 50K. you're like, "Here's 50k for your eye." Th- to them, they're probably like, "That's life changing money." Yeah. To me, who has a job, doing all right, you know, 50K like 50k is still a nice little. That's a nice starter. I. That's a nice. Hey, yo, that's a good DP on a house, man. I would rather not have that new <laughs> car and see out of both <laughs> that's eyes. That's a good DP. 
No, 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 no. You don't like getting I would BP? Take, I, I'm along your lines, though, man. It would take me like half a mil probably Yeah. to, but, take, to take one of my eyes. Like tomorrow, somebody's like, here's half a mil for your eye. i be like, mm. Yeah, but I don't see getting offered as a living person more than 200K. I mean, you know, millionaires do what millionaires do, so. Yeah, anyways, that's all the time we have for today's uh, uh, podcast. Go to thecrazytown.com and subscribe for Jonas. TNT. Oh, yeah.